Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. I'm very excited about this video because it's really a two for one and one item shown in this video will help me not only for this video but also future videos. So I don't know if the good people of Miravana had been watching some of my swatch videos but they really decided to help me out because you already know if you've seen me do any lip swatches on camera, they are not the neatest lip swatches and that's usually because I'm using the viewfinder of the camera to apply it. So it's not like I'm that close Close. sometimes I zoom in but you know um, they get kind of sloppy sometimes so huh, the good people of Miravana have done a very nice deed of sending me this eight, in eight inch makeup mirror that has a regular side and also one that goes to like 10 times the zoom so let's just take a look so this is kind of the unboxing portion and I'm just going to show you how easy it is they have it nicely packaged here with the little styrofoam piece for the mirror itself and for the base so it's all in here it has the mirror in here as well as the base I'm just going to assemble this right now so you can see how easy it is and of course I'm going to have the link if you're interested in purchasing this mirror I'm going to have the link in the description box below but yeah, I can, okay, I can see it's just a screw on, right? So you take the base, put it in here and screw, 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 turn, turn, turn. Yep, there we go done that easy and they have mentioned to me because they sent me a nice little letter that anyone who purchases their mirror you not only could get a full refund if you don't like the product but you can also um get you also have a thousand day like warranty which is like that's a lot of time but anyhow let me just show you what it all looks like all assembled i don't want to blind you with the mirror so let me try and hold it maybe like this on the side it has it has these little knobs at the side uh and of course it Oh, look at me in side view there. Okay. Um, so it spins, right? So if I just wanted to flip to the other side, I could just flip the mirror like this and boom, I'm on the other side. So this is the normal side. So that's the normal side and this is the side with 10 times zoom. I would need to be like full on on the face for you to actually see, but I was able to see like, um, because I just did this little unboxing for you here, but I had already unboxed it previously. You know, I can never wait. So anyway, I actually was able to see like, a blackhead up close and personal which looked far more severe <laughs> than maybe it looks just in person but it lets me know I need to address that tonight which I will so it has a little sticker on it which I'll remove later on that shows it's the 10 times zoom so I'm now going to just be placing this on this little table I have right here I'm keeping it on the regular side zoom and I am going to now use this mirror to apply and I'll have the price up here okay I'm now going to apply the ColourPop Satin Lips, which I literally just, um, they just came in the mail yesterday. So excited for them. I can tell you, so should I say review? I mean, they just came in the mail yesterday, but they're lipsticks, lip products. I have worn it and I actually took it off before this video. Um, one color today from like early this morning to now, it's 425. I definitely understand it. Even from when I uh, received my box yesterday, I certainly started um, playing with it then. I see that some may leave a little stain more so than the others, but essentially... Think of a creamy version of their Ultra Matte. So it's a, a creamy product. You apply it on your lips, get great lip color, color, even when you drink. And I had done a test in another video, which I have yet to upload, but I... Or maybe I did upload it. Uh, I don't think I did. But anyhow, um, I did a water bottle test, um, not with these products, with um, something else, to show you that even though you drink water from a bottle, because I'm not using a straw, even if you drink water straight from the bottle, even if you have lipstick that's on the rim of the bottle, the lipstick is still intact. That's what happens here. So although these are not mattes, um, they're satins, it gives you like a satin finish. It's not going to give you a matte finish and they will come off if you put your lips on something or drink from a coffee cup. It'll definitely uh, show some wear, but they're long lasting satins in the sense that they really do stay on your lips. I should do a water test before we leave this video. First, let me just show you the colors, and of course, I'm going to do lip swatches, uh, and I'm going to use this mirror to do the lip swatches, so thanks, Miravana, for that. This first one up, two lips, and I'll uh, just swatch this right here. Beautiful color. Oh, I love it. It's like a plummy kind of shade, and now I'm going to apply it. And now, if I have lip swatches that are sloppy from here on out, it's totally me, because there's no excuse. <laughs> Look how smooth that is. I'll come in. I'll move this in just a little closer so you can see it better. But yeah, 
and I have not placed my uh, stick back in the tube so this is all the product that I was able to get out just with one. Oh, look at that mmm I and it feels so creamy on the lips now I can tell you if you are wearing it for an extended time it dries down like the, the appearance of the color it doesn't look as satiny as it does like right now see how it's not glossy it's not glowing I'm gonna zoom in again it's not like this high gloss, but it has just enough that it looks satiny. But the longer you wear it, it does dry down to look like more of a matte. Not a full 100% drying matte, but it will, you know, kind of dry down a bit, but still be creamy on the lips. So easy to remove. I love it. Look, there we go. This is two lips. And of course, these are priced at six bucks. Mm, I love tulips. I really do. I'm so happy with all the ones I purchased, actually. So I'm going to take this off. And I did mention that some of them stain a little bit more than others. So when I do come across that one, um, I think one or two actually stain a little bit more than the others. Then I will actually use a, a little lipstick makeup remover that I have. But yeah, there we go. That's off. <laughs> um, so perfect. So that was the first one. I think I'm going to save my favorite or the one that may be interested in this collection at all. I think I'll save that one for last. Um, I'll show you this one right here is London Fog. All right. And I've seen London Fog look quite different on different people. There we go. That's London Fog. And this is what it looks like on me. And I'm just going to apply it here. Oh, I'll zoom in a bit in case you want to get a little closer. Oh, okay. See, now I am I can see very clearly in the mirror, so that was totally me. Mm. And I did just press my lips together, but... Um. <laughs> oh, and you know what I've been thinking about recently? Um, and I, that has been... I've been thinking about... And this is a bright one on me, so I'm just going to... Oh, and I did stick my uh, stick back in the tube just because this particular one, I find it's, I don't want to use the word patchy, but slightly patchy, slightly patchy. So I have to make sure that the cream is spread evenly. So that's why I just want to get a little bit more. Okay, I know. Wait, let me zoom out. And of course, I'm doing these with no lip liner. You're watching me here in real time. Here we go. This is London Fog. A little daring for me, but um, yeah, I, I mean, I saw it online and how it looked on other people. So I did pick this one up. I think I can definitely work it, but um, it's, it's an interesting color. It's not usually the, the color that I would reach for first, but yeah, there we go. So London Fog, let me zoom in so you can see. Okay, <laughs> there we go. All right, the um, other thing that I was going to tell you, and I'm sorry, I, I know some people may not like actually seeing me uh, <laughs> wipe it off on camera, but it's okay, right? Okay, so um, the thing that I was going to tell you is that, oh, see, this is an example of one. Even though I'm wiping it off, Lin London Fog and I think um, the Rabbit as well, they stain a little bit more. See, the other color, Tulips, I was able to just wipe right off, but this one right here... See how it stains a bit? So just to completely remove the color so that I'm showing you the real color, I'm going to pause this for a second, use the lipstick remover, get my lips back to the normal shade, and then proceed with the other swatches. All right, one sec. So I'm back. I have my lips back. <laughs> I'm doing now the rabbit. This one, I wonder if you'll be able to see this, but it has like this little iridescent kind of purple color streaming through it so I just watched it right here this is the rabbit look at that can you see like it's not fully it's not a pink because I'm not a pink person but it is kind of pink but um it has this like beautiful purple streaming through it so I'm just going to zoom in apply this here using the mirror on a mirror here we go and I'll stay in frame like this so you can still see me 
just put it back in again. Oh, I think this is going to dry in such a way that you can see the like little purple that I'm talking to you about. This is a really nice shade, bright shade. And the reason why I typically do these swatches on camera like this is because I'm not going to put any more. I want you to see. Oh, I can totally see it. Let me zoom in more. Like, can you see how it's not just like pink, but it's like. That's not shine. That's not just shine. That's like, mm, I hope this translates well. Mm, maybe it won't, but let's see if you can pick it up from my hand. No, see, that's just looking pink on camera. Sometimes, though, when I watch the playback, it looks different. But anyway, maybe you can kind of see it there. It's like this kind of lavender-ish kind of color streaming through it. Wow, that looks like I need a lip liner, but in real life, I don't. I really like this. This, to me, reminds me of the shade from ColourPop more better, but with a little more hint of fuchsia and then a little twinge of purple or some other kind of iridescent flavor flowing through there. I would wear this in real life without a lip liner. Absolutely, I would. This is the Rabbit. This is a really nice shade. Not one that I would, like, wear as, like, a daily shade, but it's a nice one. And this, if I recall, is another one that, like, stains a little bit when you try to take it off. So let's see my attempt. Hmm, not so bad. Yeah, mm, bottom staining. Yeah. See how it still has, like, that pink? So, again, I'm going to come off camera. I'll just take it off completely, and I'll be back. I'm back with Panda. So I'm going to put Panda on. And this is like a grape kind of purple. Oh, sorry. Not really turning towards you. I'll use the back end before I dip it back in. These swatches are much cleaner, yes? Yes. I should actually probably angle the mirror more so I'm looking more towards you. Mm, I like that color. This is Panda. And that was just one coat from the two, of course. And it feels so creamy. I'm serious, you guys. You could layer it even more if you'd like. And I didn't do the hand swatch, so let me do that. Panda. Here is Panda. And if you want to see any comparisons to like other ColourPop colors, I can certainly do that. Just let me know down below and I can put it on Instagram or somewhere. But uh, to show you whether or not colors look similar to other ColourPop colors or maybe some other colors that you know that I may have in my collection. Maybe I swatched them in the past. Panda, really like it. Mm. I'm looking at this in the mirror, so it's, I like it. I really, really like it. I only have two more lip colors to show you, and then I'm going to show you something on the eyes uh, quickly. So let's see how easily Panda comes off. Okay. Now see how it's... Panda doesn't exactly... I know I started wiping off, but you'll still get the point. Panda doesn't exactly have that satiny kind of finish that the others have exactly. It looks like it on my hand, but... On my lips, see how it's more of a matte look for Panda? Yeah, so you may get that too, depending on which uh, colors you've purchased. So yeah, this is another one where I'm going to have to use uh, my little handy-dandy lipstick remover in order to get the color off. One sec. And now I'm back with Prim. Nice, deep little shade here. I'll zoom in so you can see me apply Prim. Oh, look at that. Look at Prim. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Beautiful. So for all the people, if, if the ultra um, mats were a problem for you and they weren't comfortable on the lips, I don't see why you wouldn't be in love with these <laughs> because the formula is just really, really nice and again I'm going to show you once I get to the last color how long lasting they are in the sense that you can drink water from a bottle no straw and <laughs> and see that even though product comes off that it's still on your lips and I think in the last video um, that I recorded which may not have been uploaded yet where they actually 
show um oh, I was actually showing one of the ColourPop uh lipsticks that I was applying on my lips and it was a, a, a ultra matte but it was a different formula where and I did drink from a bottle of water as I mentioned previously and it was on the rim but it was still on my lips I think at that matte stage whichever collection that was from that they started to play with the idea of these satins maybe it was in the lab long before that but I just feel like this formula is similar in that way except these feel much more comfortable and I was very comfortable with the um, mattes it's just these feel even more comfortable so prim mm. <sighs> it's good when I hum <laughs> because that that means it's good stuff see another one kind of staining a bit all right so let me you know the deal <laughs> all right let me show you prim on the hand. Just watch it right here. Prim. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to the one that actually made me even be interested in this collection, and it's Tansy. Oh, I'm in love with Tansy. Let me swatch it on the hand. The reason why is because I, I had mentioned somewhere um, that... Look at this tansy. Wait till you see on the lips. That I've been trying for the longest to get my hands on Truffle Rain by Colored Rain, but it seems to be always sold out. Um, couldn't find it in Ricky stores either. Um, so here we go. I saw this color. I thought it was just ever so close. This is the shade I actually was wearing all day today. I'm going to apply. Oh, look at that. Let me zoom in so you can. So you're with me. Look at that. Look at that shade of brown. Mmm. Sorry, habit. I was looking in the view viewfinder. <laughs> Need to be looking in my mirror, but here we go. Mm -mm -mm. I just love, it's such an odd shade of brown for the lips. Oh, and I'm going to finish the video wearing Tansy. Oh, again, really, really love this shade. These are all the shades that I picked up. And I'll show you the two eye colors that I picked up as well. But yeah, here they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, again, here they are on my hand. And see how even though this was the first one that I applied to lips, but notice how it still has that kind of shine to it, right? So again, these are satins. They're creamy, so see, if I touch it, uh, yeah, it came off in <laughs> both shades because I was kind of in between uh, Two Lips and also London Fog. So both came up on my finger, and yeah, it, it does that because it's not an ultra matte. But again, really comfortable and nice. Okay, so you can see it's on my lips. Let me just, let me just zoom in and do this. And it hasn't been long, right, that I had it, that I just applied this, but let me show you what I mean. product definitely on the rim you can see tansy is there right but let me zoom in lips still intact that is oh love love so um now i'm just going to show you the two um eyeshadows that i got and this is not like from this new collection or anything but i saw telepathy uh who had it on instagram and yeah i needed to have it so there we go, telepathy. And in fact, let me let me use let me use my mirror. And I'll zoom in so you can see me apply telepathy to the eye. Oh. There we go. There we go. Now of course I'm not doing this with a brush or anything, but I could I could I could see working that shade. Let me do something on this eye now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think I put more here, but yeah, this is telepathy. You at least see what it looks like. Need to blend out that edge, but yeah, yeah, yes, telepathy. <laughs> and this is uh, what five bucks, yeah. And then the last eyeshadow that I got is from the K-pop collection. This tansy, just mm, I like it. Um, so this one is 
Beverly. Yeah, Beverly. So there's the shade. This one I had swatched, as you can see right here, I had swatched it on my hand before and it wasn't, uh, it didn't show up extremely well on me. See, like that. Like it doesn't look, let me just hold the two side by side. It didn't look as deep as it looked uh, in the pan when I actually swatched it on myself, but you know, um, not everything shows up on everyone the same way. I'm just going to put a little on my eye right here. Just, I don't know, I'm just curious. I want to see how it shows up on my face because there is a difference when I do things. Oh, you can kind of see there. Oh, let me zoom in so you can see a little better. Hmm, yeah, yeah. Oh, that may be nice, this combination. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I mean... That could be wild and kooky, but not too wild. Like, I never go too wild on the eyes, but I actually may like this combination. That may actually work for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm applying more again because it doesn't show up super well on me. But yeah, because I, I wouldn't do a full, I personally wouldn't do a full eye with uh, telepathy <laughs> only because that, that that would be a bit much for me and I probably wouldn't know how to pull that off but I have seen some people do like smoky eyes with telepathy so we'll see so that's what I received from uh, Colourpop and I did those swatches thank you so much to Miravana for sending this beautiful mirror which I will be using all the time <laughs> just even daily as I'm getting ready for work that's just a great mirror I just put it right back on the stand just now and I really like it. I do like it. I like a good mirror. See myself up close. Yeah, nice. So anyway, thank you to Miravana for that. And I hope you guys enjoy. Again, the leak link will be down below if there are um if you want to purchase this mirror as well as if you have any questions, certainly leave them in the box below. I will see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching and subscribing and commenting. Bye.